Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is Evangelist Brenda Thompson coming to you today. Today I greet you in no other name than in Jesus' mighty name. The title of my message to you today is The Mountain Called Transfiguration. My message is taken from Matthew chapter 17 verse 1 to 8. And my reference is Philippians chapter 2 verse 5 to 11. And after six days, Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John his brother, and bringeth them up into a high mountain apart, and was transfigured before them, and his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elijah talking with him. Then answered Peter and said unto Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If thou wilt let us make here three tabernacles, one for thee, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he had spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. And behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their face and were so afraid. And Jesus came and touched them and said, Arise, be not afraid. And when they had lifted up their eyes, they saw no man, save Jesus only. Please turn with me to Philippians chapter 2 verse 5 to 11. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Who being in the form of God taught it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the poor. Wherefore God also has highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Father, I come to you today in no other name than in the mighty name, the majestic name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, let this message be a blessing to the hearers. In Jesus' name, Amen. Peter, James, and John represents the inner circle of leadership. In verse 1, it says... And Jesus separated them. He brought them up into a high mountain privately. Verse 2 to 8 speaks about a transformation or change. Verse 5 to 8 speaks about fear. In the first part of the transformation, it speaks about change. It speaks, number two, it speaks about fear. It speaks about Jesus will speak to you. Arise, be not afraid. Jesus will touch you. Jesus will open your blinded eyes. Today 
I want to say to all those of you who desire change, you can experience change, change of heart, change of mind or your mindset, change of thoughts, change of ways, change in your habits, change in your lifestyle, change of desire, change in your situation and your circumstances, change of behavior, change in your environment, change in your finances, simply change. Change is available. Jesus is saying to each and every one of us today, come and experience the mountain called transfiguration, the mountain of change. Today, whatsoever is going on in your life, today change is necessary and change is possible because God is a God of all possibilities. Today, I would like in my conclusion to pray a prayer for change. God wants to redirect your life. He wants to redirect your thoughts. He wants to redirect your ways. He wants to redirect everything that needs change. Who is this Jesus? When you come to the place where you see no man, but only Jesus is the mountain of transfiguration. And today I would like to remind you who is this Jesus? The Bible says in Philippians chapter 2 verse 5 to 11 Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus who being in the form of God taught it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men, and being found in fashion as a man. He humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also has highly exalted Jesus and given him a name which is above every name, the name which is above principalities and powers, witches and wizards and warlock. Hallelujah, that are the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in the earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. Today, in my conclusion, I would like to pray a prayer for a change in your life, a change in your life, in your thoughts, in your ways, in everything that needs change, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I come to you today in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for change. I pray for redirection in the life of, of every believer that need redirection. I pray for change and redirection in the life of the ungodly. Change the surrender to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Change for salvation. Change in your behavioral pattern. Change in your attitude. Change a hallelujah if you're a violent person, if you're quick temper, I pray for change today in every situation and every circumstance, whether it concerns the church, church members, or the ungodly. I am praying that you will cause them today to experience the mountain called transfiguration, where at the end of their journey they will see Jesus only and him crucified. God bless you today. I hope this message has been a blessing to you. God bless you. And if you have not experienced the necessary change that will bring you to a place of salvation, today I would like to pray the sinner's prayer with you. Lord, I repent of my 
failures and my faults and my sin, Lord Jesus, come into my heart and make me born again. God bless you in Jesus' name. You can find a place of church in your neighborhood where Jesus, the name of Jesus, is being preached. Hallelujah. God bless you.